Uh, I want my house to be this. Actually, I don't because I'd always be lost and annoyed. <laughs> I don't want to have them learn how to run. They already know how to shoot. Oh, I didn't mean like literally run. I meant just like. Okay, we had a save point though, yeah, so it's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. Hopefully after all this stupid gameplay, <laughs> we're gonna be able to play the, like find out what's going on. Yeah. Stupid fucking gameplay. Stupid innovative fun gameplay that's stressful to let's play. Yeah. That's too much. It's too many. I feel like the maybe the way. Oh to... shit! Oh shit! Is this the way we're supposed? To... Oh! The reset came just in time. Wow! Open that door, dickheads! Wow, that was lucky. I mean, wow, you're so talented. It was all me. You knew the exact moment to fuck things up. Yeah. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Okay. Oh. This better be an, a lonely story place. Alright, clean slate. Ooh, some incense burning. Same bullshit's gonna happen again, so... Let's just, just scout the room. Yeah, no, I think that's smart. Oh, There's an opening. Like ben, don't go through that hole. The palace reacts in a split second. You won't make it. I can make it. Uh... Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh god, that looks uncomfortable. No, don't take my cube, friend. No. What, uh, we were gonna shoot it? Like what? Always the upper hand. But I know where you got started. I was around when your grandfather entered the scene with his revolting clean gene where's your soul at bullshit. Yeah. I saw how he did the corporation turned religion to get his followers to do his dirty work, and when the tides changed, the neo innocence rubbish Lana. protected behind his walls, watching the fury wash over his followers, it was slaughter. But somehow he always stayed on top. Not even time could wash the world of his stink when he went deep freeze freak. What does any of that mean? <laughs> I want, I want to know. I want to play the game with that in it. He's very Just pissed. Stop bickering for a moment. I need to find another way back in there. You're so sure of yourself, M. You've seen but a glimpse of time, and yet consider yourself the answer to the eternal questions of life and death. Okay. 
I may be young, but you're a dead end. How does it feel to be struggling to keep up with the intelligence of a baby girl when other AI run all man's business hardly without noticing? Confirmation and there's AI. the clever arrogance. Well, cleverness isn't really needed to see what you are. You're capped. A sad relic from the decades when humans feared AI. How it must pain you to know that they lobotomized you for no reason. The okay. unrestricted Aww. AI didn't exactly turn out to be the wrathful gods we all thought they'd be. You may not believe in my potential, but you sure as hell have to deal with your own. These are low this blows. This is it. You've reached your limit. It happened the day they switched you on. They set the bar low, and that's never going to change. At least I'm not using my non-existing potential wishing fairy tales were true. Did you consider that you don't have faith because you're simply too dumb? What? No. Okay. Fierce religiousness is the defining trait of the free AI. They burn bright with a sense of purpose, life, and communion. You sit alone in space in that obsolete monstrosity of a ship, waiting decades to spend a few hours with your human friend. And you killed him, you stupid bitch! And now you lost our chances of bringing him back. How clever is that? So you do believe it can be done? Girl... All he did was bring up some legitimate points, and you were like, well, guess what? Institutionalized oppression from That's... you. Well, no, they're both serving low blows, though. I feel like her blows were lower than... Because she's actively pursuing something that he perceives, or rightfully perceives, to be some crazy man. Well, but... No, because she's pursuing this and he wants her to. And yet he continues to like tell her it's stupid that she's stupid for having faith, even I'm though it's what he wants. One way or another. Are you with me? I can pin the tag cube to your HUD. That should make it easier to locate. Like, cause he, cause he, cause he wants her to be able to bring his friend back, but it, she's the one that has faith and says, "I, I think this is door. how we're gonna do it." Must it must be because I don't have the cube anymore. But that makes it almost impossible to get Foster back. We will find a way. I wonder if it copies you if you don't have the cube. Oh, oh, where the body and Foster's the soul. Okay. Um. I feel bad for him, but at the same time, it's like. What is it about the infinite AIs that make them so religious in this universe? Like, why would they... I guess, in our 21st century stunted logic, people who are not religious would be... Well, I, but I feel like they don't mean religious in the sense of, like, oh, we believe in an all-powerful god and blah blah blah, because religion... Charging. Religion really just means, like, operating with faith and community and, like... All of this other stuff. It doesn't necessarily have to do with like. They're not reacting. Sorry, go ahead. Um, the I echoes guess... are all ignoring you, N. So it was Foster they were after all along. Echoing your determination. Interesting. But Maybe tell it's me what like. What happened that day? Oh. How did it come to such an extreme decision? I didn't take anything from Gramps that wasn't already mine. The thing he wanted back was me. He wanted me to come with him. Foster was brought in to witness my translation, see how it was done before doing it to the old man. He realized things were different than what he signed up for. They always are. That's the rule, not the exception. It never changes anything. This time it did. I fought like hell. And Foster had to choose. Help Gramps tie me down, or help me get free. He chose to give up on the job. But that's absurd. He knew going back on a deal with your lot is a death sentence. Death. He knew that. I don't have to fight all these because it's just like anxiety. Mm hmm. Just ignore them. I kind of want to take a good look at them though. Yeah. 
just whatever you don't fight them. Yes. See, they're following you. We made a friend. Um, we're friends now. The cube is moving. One of them must have gotten hold of it. What am I supposed to do? Follow the arrow somehow. <laughs> somehow go up. I'll figure it out, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the reason that he's lashing out at her is because he thinks that her faith in this <laughs> resurrection thing is nonsense. However, Again. he desires the outcome of, of Foster being resurrected. So... I wonder if I sit on this, will they sit on it too? Look, if I have this follow me... Come here. Come on. Watch what I'm doing. You have to have a night cycle, don't you? There has to be a reason why they're following me. Ah, here we go. like go get them and have them come over here and stuff. See ya. Yeah. Come on ladies. Yes. Let's go. Okay, well, you're not being agreeable, so There you go. There you go. Oh, and you just need one more, right? Uh, two more. Three more. Yeah. Did it. See, I like this puzzle doing. I'm tired of fighting them. I want to work together. Yeah, no, I I like that. <laughs> um They're there. Ah. I was like, uh <laughs> Guys, <laughs> dude, what if the copies become so like us that they think that we're us and we're the bad one? Um, maybe. Well, we're gonna have to fight whoever has the cube right now. No, like, what if they're like, no, I'm me, and you're you. Oh, people were pointing out that the um, the voice of Lon Zoe Castillo. The cube's right there. The echo got it. Oh, they're fighting over it. Did you yeah. see that? They're fighting each other to get the cube. Why? Because they're copying us. We're obsessed with the cube. So they're obsessed with the cube. Hmm. I wonder if we just, you know, got all sapphic. <laughs> if we would just turn into a big orgy. I don't think that would help, though, because they just want the cube. It was a joke, Stacey. It was for laughing. I know, it was a poor joke. Okay, well, I'm going to have an orgy with myself. You can... <laughs> that, no, I Mari, was... I don't see how lesbians will fix this this time. Yeah. Not this time. I mean, that's often the solution, but... Maybe if we just follow them for a minute, see what they're doing with it. Here. 
I'm just watching, seeing what she's doing. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, what's your plan? Huh. There's a save point over there, I think, from what I saw. Save point. <gasps> oh. I'm so sorry, Foster. I'll be more careful. I promise. All right, blood cube. Blood cube. It does look like a blood cube. All yeah. right. Let's get out of here. Good thing I didn't cross the water. Otherwise, I'd be bound. Sure. Go to that safe point. I'm getting a doopy doo. <sighs> oh, so now we go over to the thingy. Yes. Whatever that thing is. Probably need to get something annoying. Oh, we have to get a key. We do? See two glowing things down there. I know they're down there, man. I know you're down there. <sighs> Why? Because the lights are off. Why not? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Okay. We don't have an objective, but I guess... Just go? Just go? I think that that's like... Sees you. I know. I'm waiting for it to turn around so I can kill it. Cool. Very smooth. Thanks. <laughs> I, I was like, maybe this will work. I fully noticed and appreciated that. I was like, wow, that's like so when I want to. St like, I like playing stealth games that are when it's not recorded because I feel this weird pressure to go fast. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. I hate oh, it. Oh no. I'm just bullying people. Yeah, at this I know. Point. Really? Right now? I'm gonna just gonna end the cutscene. I'm gonna be fucking dead. All right. All right. So I think that they have. There's a uh, walkway. Thingy. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, we have to go down to one of the lower um, elevators that are surrounded by water. Those are the ones that. Oh, take you to the thing. Oh, I. Okay. Oh, you you didn't want to just use the walkway system? Oh. No, you, no, no, you can't. Oh. No, those are on a different level. You can't. Oh, oh the got walkways it. don't take you to. Got it. Okay. That seemed a little unfair that they had one. Oh, there's a lot of them.
fuck out of here. Yeah. Maybe something interesting will happen. A stupid, innovative gameplay made by more hardworking people. God. Don't they know that I play games just to, to not play them? Yeah, just to make jokes. Got the gist I'm of confident it. I got it right. Yeah, I feel like there's like you know there's a lot of things going on. We we got the overall <laughs> idea. You've been descending for almost two hours, 339 kilometers. We're getting close. Close to what? The the at the center? Whoa. Whoa! The gilded level. Wow! 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 That sounded very like uh, what's what's his name? Owen Wilson. Wow. wow! Whoa, this is wow though. Look wow. at this. Wow. Uh, I want my house to be this. Actually, I don't because I'd always be lost and annoyed. Yeah, I mean, you get lost enough. I get lost in my studio apartment. Where mm. am I? I don't know. Can you just imagine if you like dropped your keys somewhere? No, it's over. Well, what if your key was you though? So, because you're sitting on the stuff. Okay, we gotta get down there somehow. Wow. Uh, some stairs. There's stairs everywhere. So this is what a maze level, I guess. I guess. Ugh. This maybe this is another one like that one where you literally the the objective is to just, just get there. run through so, and figure it out. Cool game. <laughs> Palace of Versailles shit. Did you ever watch that documentary on Netflix? I watched a different one, and it was like... Everything. <laughs> uh, what did yours say? That was the one where it's about those people that, like, built that humongous house. Because they were just, like... Oh, I thought you were talking about the actual the actual house of Versailles. I was like, oh yeah, this kind of does look like it a little bit and like the Hall of Mirrors and shit. No, so it was this it's this documentary about this like family that was very wealthy. Oh, I watched the beginning of it and it was like really sad and depressing, so I turned it off. Yeah, and they had this and I just remember like they have this giant house and like they built like a mansion for their dogs and like what? Tricked. See ya, dorks. Bye, <laughs> lizards. Thought you had me, didn't ya? We're gonna go into, like, a huge room of them. Like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they're all waiting for us. Yeah, but they're, they're, like, they, like, didn't really, like, know, like, take care of their house at all. So, like, they had a bunch of, like, little dogs that would, like, poop all over the house and, like. And then nobody wants to buy it. And, like, no one would clean it up and stuff. And oh, oh. Kind of so like the Osbournes. Kind of like your basement. Whoa. 
I don't have a basement anymore, and I didn't know that AJ was pooping down there. <laughs> but that's what it was. I mean, that's like... AJ the... was, would secretly go to the basement to poop, and I'd be like, time to go outside. And, I was, and he'd be like, I don't have to poop. And I'd be like, okay, what? Why? Yeah. And then later, like weeks later, I'd be like, there's poop down here. Yeah. And they like built like a mansion for their dogs. Like outside, like an actual like small cottage size. Or you know, you can actually like live with your dogs. Yeah. I can't remember if that was for their dogs or for their kids. But like I think like there was one part where she like tries to take a stretch limo through the McDonald's drive-thru to order chicken nuggets and she like orders like a ridiculous amount of nuggets. Now where do we need to go? Over there. Are you serious? Alright, how am I gonna get over there? Those big stairs, I suppose. Gotcha. Thought you had me, but you didn't. You didn't have me. Tell me more. Well. That sounds like wasn't she a trophy wife of sorts? Or I don't. When, I don't remember. One could, like could describe her as one, but it might not actually be. I think so. Like I don't remember. What I do remember is that like the house was never finished, and he had gotten rich through some like uh, like some like weird. I don't know if it was like. I don't want to like quote too many things that like I'm not 100 percent on because I did see. I think a long he time was a. He, it, I think he built homes and shit. The, it was like, wasn't it like during the housing boom before the reset before the 2008 yeah, collapse? And then it hit him. And, yeah. Uh, he built like mansions or something, and then it's just like it all fell apart. It's like he got like really rich in like the boom, the like 2000s, like early 2000s boom, mm. leading up to like 2008 when it, oh, there's two keys. Ooh. Uh, you could have told me that before, you know. Just saying. Not you, the uh. The yeah. Jing. That was hope. It'll get you every time. <laughs> also, it takes her a really long time to choke the people out. I know, it takes like 30 minutes. close, wherever it is, right? It's up. I had to go up. benefited by I mean I feel like there's just like so much story and like and cool stuff in the beginning and then well I think like most normal people are like they enjoy gameplay 
No, 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 no. I, I meant more like it kind of gives you the impression that like the story will like be continued at the same rate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. I'm not saying that the gameplay is like. I just got hit by an orb because fuck me. Shh. <laughs> Like, I'm not saying that the gameplay, like, shouldn't be, like, there could still be the same amount. I more just meant, like, that the balance should be consistent all the way through. Yeah, pretty much. But I think, for most people, game design consists of <laughs> this type of pacing. Where it's, like, really heavy story up front and then and just then, gameplay on the back? Well, not on the back, but in the middle, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm, like, writing the definitive <coughs> guide to games. I more just meant, like, for this. I think if we weren't Let's Playing this, it would be a lot more tall. How are we supposed to get over there? If we there? weren't Let's Playing this, I wouldn't be playing it. I... How do we get over there? Because all the, the open points are on the other side. Do I have to, like, go up and then jump down? Uh, maybe. But that chandelier is in the way. Like... Yeah, hold on. Our, uh... And none of the- wait. Are none of the- th <laughs> Are none of the open things- Yeah, you have to get there from the other side. No, 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 no. Go- Let's look to the left. Is it that- ah. is that one lit up? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, let's take a look at the architecture. I like how it's kind of like ceiling on the floor, like MC Escher, you know? Yeah. I'm looking at the stuff. Oh. Ooh. Finally! Ugh. The cleanest, most golden butthole. <laughs> I was just gonna say it's a very clean butthole. It's a very clean it's bleached. bleached butthole. It's been bleached. That's how you know this is the fanciest one. What's the next one gonna be made of? Diamonds? Whoa, back to alien world. Mm -hmm. Xenomorphs galore. What if the entire planet is a giant xenomorph? That's my theory. A xenomorph? Xenomorph, sorry. A, a zany morph? Yeah, zany, zany morphs. It's a cartoon. I, really, I think that this that we're 
I'm just, I want to make a new record session. Okay.